Hello, I'm Patrick Halpin, chair of the Town of Babylon Planning Board. Uh, today is a uh, planning, uh, planning board meeting. We have two public hearings. Uh, this is the planning board meeting of June 29th, 2020. Uh, may I turn this over now to Denise Graziano. Okay, first we'll take attendance. Uh, Patrick Halpin. Present. Mike Cabarro. Present. Frank Santos. Present. Julianne Nolan. She's, she's muted. I see her. <laughs> Jerry O'Neill. Yeah, I'm here. Dan Truchan. Present. Ed Wynn. Present. Planning Board Council Rich Casey. Present. Environmental Rich Grow. Present. Planning Matt Esposito. Present. Now I'll read the Planning Board statement. Uh, the planning board shall have the right to rely on any information that is presented by the applicant. If any such information is later found to be inaccurate or incorrect, the planning board may determine that any approvals, building permits, or other actions previously granted in connection with the application are null and void. Hello. Okay. Uh, Matt, your statement. I'm actually in a yep. Zoom meeting. Uh, Good evening. Tonight we have a, we have two public hearings on the agenda, utilizing the Zoom webinar application. Thanks a lot. We will have the applicants joining us to present their application to the board and answer any questions. Following the presentation, we will individually call upon members of the public who have registered to speak regarding this application. Individuals will be promoted from an attendee to a panelist in order to voice their comments. For the record, there is one member of the public registered to speak on planning board job number 20-14B, Stanley Gilpin, Living Irrevocable Trust. There are four members of the public registered to speak on planning board job number 17-33AF, Bobby Lau. This hearing is also being live streamed on the Town of Babylon YouTube channel. Following each presentation and public comments, the public hearing will be closed. The record for each matter shall be held open for a minimum of seven days. As long as the record is open, any member of the public who did not register to participate in tonight's Zoom meeting can provide comments on the application by email or regular mail directed to Town of Babylon Planning Board, 200 East Sunrise Highway, Lindenhurst, New York, 11757, or by email to planningcomments at townofbabylon.com. If you have any questions or require any additional information, please call the planning department at 631-957-3103. Uh, thank you very much, Matt. Uh, our first plan, our first public hearing is, as you heard, a planning board job, uh, twenty fourteen B Stanley Gilpin Living Irrevocable Trust. Uh, we have uh, Miss Blanda as the attorney representing this application. I'm going to promote her to a panelist right now. Seem to be having some trouble. Oh, here we go. Uh, there she is. There we go. Uh, good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. For the record, my name is Nicole Blanda. I'm an attorney at Bazell Blanda and Visconti with offices at 535 Broad Hollow Road in Melville. Thank you, uh, Ms. Blanda. Uh, the commissioner of planning uh, issued a memorandum regarding this application dated June 17th. Have you had a chance to review the application? Review the review the memorandum and you have any comments or concerns regarding any of the conditions for both lot one and two and uh, any restrictive covenants for both one and lots one and two. Uh, we've reviewed the planning memo and we have no concerns, no comments. The applicant consents to all the covenants. Okay, thank you. Please proceed. I'm here representing Stanley Gilpin on this oversized vacant parcel um, in the residence B zone just shy of an acre, having 42,500 square feet. Um, we did obtain, oh, there's the aerial. We did obtain our variances. Uh, we had a hearing back in January and we were granted our variances 
in February. Um, they were minor variances. One of the parcels, uh, lot two, needed a frontage variance going from 80 feet to 75 feet and a total side yard from 30 to 25. Um, each parcel has just over either half an acre or just above. Um, so lot one has 20,000 square feet and lot two is 22,500 square feet. The reason the parcels were laid out the way they were is because of the uh, health department requirements. The groundwater zone in this area requires 20,000 square feet. So when we laid it out, uh, we needed lot one to have at least 100 feet of frontage to be able to make the square footage. And then that's why you see there's like this L shape for lot two. Um, but each parcel is still oversized for the residence B zone. Um, the applicant is proposing a, um, a two-story home on each parcel. Um, the finishings would be different uh, as requested by the town. And the, um, the basements were, we took the mechanicals out of the basement. That was a comment that was uh, requested and made at the ZBA hearing. So there are no, there's no mechanical room. Um, I understand that all comments, uh, departmental comments have been satisfied for this application. And um, again, we consent single family homes, no accessory apartments, owner occupied, um, all of the covenants that are required, uh, the applicant consents to. Okay. Uh, is there anything else you'd like to bring to our attention? Um, each home has an internal garage. Uh, you could see these uh, elevations, they will be finished very nicely, uh, the colors and some of the finishes will be slightly different. The homes are mirrored um, as is usual practice um, by the town. And, um, you know, there's an open concept floor plan on the inside, uh, two full baths, a half bath. Um, the driveway can well accommodate uh, off street parking. Um, so, you know, and, and Mr. Gilpin is a known builder in the town of Babylon and he puts out a good product. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, thank you. Do any of the board members have any questions? No. No? No. 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 Okay. Um, a couple of things. I just want to state for the record regarding the covenants. Uh, the dwelling must be maintained as a single family dwelling, owner occupied use only. Uh, no accessory apartments, no second, no second story decks, no outdoor stairs to the second story um, and uh, no further subdivision of the lot. There are about a half a dozen additional uh, covenants and restrictions. Okay, thank you. Thank Is you. there anyone who would like to address the board regarding this application? Uh, Mr. Chairman, we had uh, one member of the public uh, registered to participate, uh, Mr. Lead Edmond. Um, I do not see Mr. Edmond in our list of attendees. Um, so so um, I guess we can, uh, I, I'll refer to council, but I guess we can proceed um, council? without comment. Yeah, being no one present, we can proceed with um, closing of the hearing and the record will be, as previously stated, open for a week. If uh, Mr. Edmund uh, dismissed the hearing, he could review it and make any comment he would like after. Okay. Thank you. All right, what do you recommend, Matt? Um, all departmental comments are satisfied, uh, but we are uh, leaving the records open in order to provide um, anyone who didn't get a chance to register or missed the hearing, uh, an opportunity to comment. Um, our next meeting of the planning board is July 13th, 2020. Uh, we recommend extending to this date. Okay. Um, may I have a motion to extend uh, to July 2020 uh, the, this uh, hearing? Uh, motion by Julianne. Motion. Uh, second by Jerry. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Can I just Opposed. clarify that date? Was it July 13th that we're extending to? Yes. July 13th. Did you say July, July 13th? Okay, my mistake. I said yes. July, 20th, July 2020 right? was stated, but July 13th, 2020 is accurate. July 13th. Okay, thank you for, for catching that, Denise. Uh, so we'll have a uh, uh, motion by um, 
Julianne and second by Jerry for the uh, re for the resolution to keep the record open until July 13th, 2020. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. I'm going to move uh, Miss Blanda back to an attendee. Okay. Oh, she left. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I will promote the next um, applicant in uh, before we begin. Uh, Mr. Harold Gebhardt is the architect, and we have uh, Mr. Bobby Lau and Mr. Tom Lau um, as applicants. Okay. Okay. Matthew. <laughs> Harold, how are you? Good, Matthew. How about yourself? Not bad. Am I up? Right. Ready to go? Hold on. Yep. Hold on. Okay, uh, Denise, do you want to um, bring this uh, item? Okay. Item B, public hearing, site plan review, bar restaurant, planning board job number 17-33 AF, Bobby Lau. The proposal is to construct a one-story multi-tenant masonry building at, of 10,539 square feet for a laundromat, Chinese takeout restaurant, retail store, along with site associated site improvement. Okay, Mr. Gephardt, could you please state your name and address for the record? Sure. Uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, I am Harold Gebhard, architect for Mr. Bobby Lau. Okay. Um, have uh, you had the opportunity? Pardon me? What's your address? 363 North Wilbert Avenue, Lindenhurst, New York. All right, thank you. Um, uh, Rachel Scafo, the Commissioner of Planning, issued a memo regarding this application dated June 25th, 2020. Have you had the opportunity to review this with your uh, clients? And, and um, do you have any concerns or any issues you want to bring to the board's attention regarding the conditions as well as the covenants and restrictions? I have not seen that memo, Mr. Chairman. You have not seen that memo. I have not. It, can you send it to me now? Matt? Uh, yeah, what I can do is pull it up and I can share my screen as well. Uh, just okay. give me a moment. No, I'm just trying to figure out how to make it louder. Yeah, that would be nice. I know. Don't see anywhere. I have it the highest it can go. Yeah, I see it. Okay. All right. Sorry about that. Give me a right. sec, yeah. Mr. Chairman, will you also swear Mr. Gephardt in, please? Yes, yeah. Thank you. Okay. All right, Matt, are you set with that? Okay, uh, Mr. Gephardt, raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do, sir. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, uh, here is the memo. It's up on the screen. Matthew, beyond the, um, is there anything you want to highlight in terms of conditions for the record that... Um, if, can you slow that down a little bit, Matt? Yeah, let's let's go to. Um... So, um, the the uh, memos were sent out on Thursday, I believe. Um, they should have gone to Mr. Gephardt as a contact person, but they are uh, the similar conditions and covenants and restrictions that have uh, appeared throughout the course of the planning memos and the course of the review of the application. Okay. Uh, but we can go through slower, and if you need, um, there's nothing I, that I believe that is out of the ordinary. Um, but All right. Matthew, well, I'm okay. I'm okay with that. Okay, and if you have any issues or concerns, please bring them to the planning board's attention. Okay. Uh, while the record is still open. Okay. Okay. Chairman. Yes. 
Um, condition number four, there's just a typo. Owner occupant Please. shall, it should be comply. Oh, yes. We're missing a P. C-O-M-P-L-Y, <laughs> thank you. Yep, you got it, Matt. Thank you. Sure. Okay. All right, we're good to go. All right. <clears throat> Mr. Gephardt. Okay, uh, Mr. Mr. Lau owns a parcel of land on the south side of Babylon Farmingdale Road, which is New York State 109. Kellum Street, Wood Place, and Bedell Street. Actually, it's an island bordering on four streets. This parcel at this time is vacant, 45,019 square feet, about 1.04 acres, and is zone business. It is his, his desire to construct a one-story building of 10,539 square feet, containing a laundromat of 7,520 square feet, a Chinese takeout of 1,254 square feet, and a convenience store of 1,764 square feet. It will have a small lower level of 2,900 square feet for mechanicals and storage. This project meets all zoning requirements, setbacks, use, Parking, no zoning board is required. Each unit will be connected to Southwest Sewer District and the entire building to be 100% fire sprinkled. I do have a rendering. I think you might have it. Matthew, do you have that rendering? Uh, yep, yeah, we do. Here uh, we go. Okay. That's what the building's going to look like facing uh, Route 109. And the other sides will be designed similar to this front facade. Thank I'm you. Okay. So do, do you have the other? No, you don't have the other views. Okay. Uh, do we do there? Not, not in color, but I have them here. Um, okay. The, Matt, what are we looking at here? Um, so this is the front facade that we saw in the colored rendering. Right. Um, Sorry, I'm trying to go slow here to give you the full picture. All right. Um, this is the west elevation. Okay. The east, um, it's a little bit angled. All right. Now, where is the um, uh, area for the dumpsters? In, in the lower right-hand corner, on the okay. corner of Bedell and Route 109. I see. Okay, in that little corner there. Right. Okay. I see. Okay, there you go. This is a landscape plan. Harold, do you want to walk us through this? Yeah, Harold, why don't you do that? Walk us through the site plan, please. The landscape plan is as per Town of Babylon requirements with the street trees alongside of uh, Route 109, Babylon Farm Dale Road. Um, the planning department wanted screen plantings along Bedell Street and Wood Place, which, which is shown on my plan. And, and we have a berm along those two streets. How high is the berm? About about two and a half, three feet. You can see that on on the on the, on the section, right there. How high are the plantings? 
Beg your pardon? How high are the plantings on the berm? The plantings start at, I think they're, I don't have that in front of me. Wait a second. I think they are uh, leaving cypresses, and I believe they start at six feet tall. No, I don't have it here. Shit. Okay. They're at, they're at five feet. Five feet. Five at, time of, at the time of planting? Correct. This is, this represents uh, at time of planting. Okay. Anybody else have any other questions? I do. Julianne? Um, I don't see where there's any loading area for the two stores. So um, to bring in deliveries, how would uh, trucks be making those deliveries? Short, short time delivery deliveries just come in off of Wood Street and, and Navy Park just alongside the face of the building and or they park temporarily in the in the parking area, the 20, 24 foot wide parking area in front of their stores. The, the uh, loading would be coordinated with uh, the uh, time frame of the opening of the facilities. Thank you. Okay. Are there any other questions? Uh, hearing none, Matthew? Um, let's see. We have um, a number of uh, members of the public who okay. uh, Register to speak on this application. Um, the first one uh, we have is uh, Mr. Bill Katz, and I'm going to promote him to a panelist now. Matthew, I didn't get his name. Uh, Mr. Bill Katz. Um, okay, there he is. Mr. Katz. Mr. Katz. How's it going? Please uh, uh, raise your right hand and repeat after me. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Yes. Okay, could you please state your name and address for the record? Oh, it's William Katz, 535 Barnard Avenue, Woodmere, New York, 11598. Okay. Uh, please proceed. Uh, so we own the building across the street. And uh, we also, you know, there's also the residential building and lots of reg residential homes. So the area has always been really nice. And I just want to make sure that there's limitations on what the retail store in the new structure uh, can accommodate. All right. Um, is there anything else you'd like to say for the record? Is there, are, uh, there are there particular uses that uh, you're concerned about? The first one that comes to mind that I'm scared of is an adult video place, but you know something along those type of lines. I'd okay. be you know a little worried about. I, I like you know it's nice that the that the area is family oriented. It's G rated. It's nice mm -hmm. you know. So right. I just worry about that happening. And I just that's all. I just want to make sure that um, you know there is uh, adherence to anything that uh, you know the tenant that they have is. Uh, I mean, you get the gist of what I'm saying. I like get I, the gist of it. Uh, let me just bring counsel into this. I believe the town of Babylon has a very strict ordinance regarding adult Mr. Sir? Yes, sir. Um, yes, sir. We, we are applying for the specific uses of this building. We are applying for a laundromat, a Chinese restaurant, and a convenience store. So there are the uses that we're asking for. Okay. Thank you. We're not, we're not, we're not constructing a vacant building and then looking for clients. Okay. So this is not being done on spec. I, no, sir. I, I understand. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Katz. We appreciate thank you your very coming. much. Guys. Matthew? Right, I'm going to, I'm going to make Mr. Katz an attendee again to view the rest of the meeting. Okay. Um, 
The next uh, member of the public that we had registered to speak um, was uh, Ms. Alexandra Lut Lutkin. I believe we have her with us. I'm going to promote her to a panelist as well. Hello. Well, I'm looking for you. Oh, there you are. Okay. Hi. Hi. Um, could, could you please state your name and address for the record? Yes, my name is Alexandra Lugton, and I live on 75 Peaceful Street in Lindenhurst. Okay. Could you raise your right hand? You swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Yes, I do. Okay, please proceed. Yes, um, I live about a block away from where this um, uh, proposed construction is going to be. And my concern is for um, trash that's going to be coming into the neighborhood. If there's a plan for making sure that um, the convenience store and the takeout um, trash is not going to be littering into the area. Um, also to make sure that there is enough parking for each of the establishments so that there's not an issue with uh, increased parking on the residential street. Um, and my last concern was for there on the 109 corridor in this general area, we've had a lot of vacancy in storefronts and a lot of revolving storefronts over short periods of time. So um, I just have a concern about uh, having another building in what is now sort of a serene lot um, with a complex of storefronts that may not always be filled with things that are really needed by the community. Okay, is, is there anything else you'd like to add for the record? Uh, no, that was it. Okay, Mr. Gephardt, don't respond now, but we will ask you to respond to the uh, okay. issues that were just raised at All the right. end of this, uh, at the end of the public speaking. Okay. Uh, thank you. All right. I'm going to uh, promote uh, Alexa back down to an attendee. Thank you. <clears throat> um, let's see. The next member of the public that we had registered to speak was... Uh, Ms. Maria Sisawang, and I believe she's here. I'm going to promote her to a panelist. Okay. Maria, I see her, but her microphone is muted. Hello? Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hello, uh, could you please state your name and address for the record? Hi, my name is Maria Sisawang. My address is 96 Wood Place in Lindenhurst. Okay, do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? I do. Okay, please proceed, thank you. Um, you know, I have lived here my entire life and that lot has been vacant for that amount of time. Um, my concern is a few things who will be maintaining the look of the lot because over the period of years, there have been issues with basic pending to the lot as far as even mowing the lawn. Mm -hmm. And with the new store openings, there is a school a block away. Are there going to be sidewalks put in place for the neighborhood so that our neighborhood kids can safely get to school with all the new traffic. Okay, is there anything else you'd like to add? Yes, I also have concerns of the hours of operation of the mm -hmm. laundromat. Um, there is a both a laundromat and a Chinese food restaurant within a quarter of a mile on the same side of 109 mm -hmm. of this proposed planning. Um, and then what will be done as far as reducing the noise and the traffic in the area, specifically the intersection of 109 and Wood Place. Um, there's a very short distance between Kellum Street, is it Kellum? Mm -hmm. um, that there have been numerous accidents. Um, so if there are trucks and there's an entrance to the parking lot on that side, what's going to be done to protect our residents and 
maintain traffic safety. There's school bus stops within close proximity of those entrances as well. Mm -hmm. Okay. Is there anything else um, that you'd like to bring to our attention? Um, that's all I have right now. Okay. And uh, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. I will. Uh, I'm going to move. I'm going to move Maria back to an attendee to listen. Um, and the last uh, member of the public that we had registered to speak um, was uh, Mrs. Lutkin. Um, and I believe she's still here, and I will promote her to a panelist as well. Thank you. I, um, Mrs. Lucky, can you hear us? Okay, yes, I can hear you. Um, the, uh, my wife is busy with something else at the moment. This is uh, Peter Lugton. And um, I have to say most of the questions that we okay, have. Okay, hold on, hold on, Mr. Lucken. Please yeah. hold on. Could you please state your name and address? Yeah, uh, Peter Lugton, 75 Fustel Street, Lindenhurst, New York 11757. Okay, and do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth? Uh, yes, I do. Okay, please proceed with your concerns. Well, and your... Um, most of my concerns have been addressed with the previous questions. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think the uh, the uh, the intersection is going to is sometimes a bit of a complicated one as you're driving up Wood Street and you want to uh, proceed sort of northwest on Route 109 and you have to get across the road and, and into the slip to get through the uh, the divider and then go the other direction. So it would possibly be even more complicated now mm -hmm. to do that with this store on uh, this location. Okay. Is there anything else you'd like to add beyond that? Uh, no, I think that's uh, that plus all the other questions I was interested okay. in have been asked. All right, very good. Thank you, sir. Thanks for coming and participating. Uh, Matt? Let me just, yep, let me just move uh, Mr. Lutkin back to an attendee. Okay. All right. Um, are there any questions uh, that the board members have? Any questions by board members? All right. Um, Mr. Uh, Mr. Gephardt, uh, yes. said you, uh, there were questions raised about sidewalks, uh, maintenance of the property, uh, sufficient parking, uh, noise and traffic, especially in the vicinity of uh, Route 109 in Kella. Uh, do you want to address any of those? Absolutely. Um, the trash, we have, a, we have a dumpster on the lower right-hand corner of the site plan which I believe is the south east corner of the Matt, site. Hold on, hold on. Matthew's going to pull that up. Go ahead. Lower right hand corner. Right there. South, south, southeast corner of the, of the site. Mm -hmm. This has been accepted by the planning board. The parking, we have exactly one extra parking space than we need as per the town of Babylon requirement. Uh, we had a study performed by Cameron Engineering and they're satisfied with the number of parking spaces that we have. Um, Bobby Lau will own and operate the laundromat and as owner and operator, he will maintain the site as per Town of Baldwin requirements. Sidewalks, we have sidewalks around all sides, um, basically for, from the Town of Baldwin on Bedell and Woods and the state on uh, Route 109. Uh, traffic has been accepted, again, traffic has been accepted by Cameron Engineering uh, pertaining to their, uh, their study. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do any of the board members have any questions? No, no. Okay. Yeah, 
Pat? Yes, <clears throat> one, please. One of the questions that came up was the hours of operation for the laundromat. I don't know that answer, sir. Um, is Bobby Lau part of this right now? Tommy Lau. Tommy Lau? Because that may be so. Uh, we do have... We do have Tom Lau uh, on the Zoom. He's, he has been muted. I don't know if he can ask him to unmute himself. I don't know if Mr. Lau is there. Hello? Oh. Yep, there he is. Hi. Yeah, hi. I'm here. Um, it depends. No, we... oh, hold on. Hold on. Mr. Oh. Lau, please state your name and address for the record. Sure. Tommy Lau, um, 2029 Reddington Street, Bayshore. Okay. I uh, do swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. Okay. Please proceed. Okay, so we're normally six to twelve, or twenty-four, depending on which uh, towns we're operating in. So normally six to twelve is six to ten or twelve is usually our what we do for business. Okay, hours, depending on whichever town we're in. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I, I'm sorry. I have a question. Jerry. Yeah, Jerry, you're, you're you're in the town of Babylon, so. What is your hours of operation when you're in the town of Babylon? We're well, no, we don't have any in Babylon right now. We're in all Islip and uh, city. What what the dictates of Islip and Patro? Okay, what, what what controls or dictates the hours that you operate? Depending on the town. Okay, then Rich or Matt, do we have any regulations on hours of operation for laundromat? You're muted, Rich. There are no restrictions on the hours, but perhaps the applicant uh, will agree to the six to 12. That's uh, up to the board to request if, if uh, they think it's necessary. All right, and we'll look into that further. Okay. Okay. All right, Matthew. Um, all the members of the public that we had registered have spoken on this application. Um, all departmental comments have been satisfied at this time, um, but we are gonna keep records open to give uh, any members of the public who didn't get a chance to speak an opportunity to speak. Uh, so we recommend extending the record until July 13th, 2020, which is our next uh, available planning board meeting. Okay. Uh, so that will give uh, any of the public and people who participated in it more time to uh, bring any additional information to our attention. Uh, okay, so I need a motion to extend the record to July 13th, 2020. Uh, motion by Frank. Motion. Uh, second by Dan. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anybody opposed? Hearing none. Okay, the record is extended. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Good night. I'm just going to move uh, Mr. Gebhard and Mr. Lau uh, back to attendees. <clears throat> Where is he? There you go. Okay, uh, we're all set, Mr. Chairman. Okay, Denise, let's go to the next item on the agenda. It's a work session. So work session for a recommendation to the town board for a change of zone, planning board job number 20-04 AE, 181 Merritt Avenue, Inc. And it's on for a decision, which is on D, resolution for recommendation to town board for a change of zone, D number one. Okay. Uh, Matthew, is there anything you want to bring to our attention? Um, no, this is the matter that uh, we heard last week for a change of zone from E business to C residence in order to build one single family home. Uh, I believe all departmental comments are satisfied and there were no members of the public who spoke. Um, this is just a recommendation to town board uh, for the approval of the change of zone. Um, and I believe uh, Mr. Casey pointed out that uh, this matter needs to be approved as amended. There's a typo in the third paragraph. Um, it just states uh, the applicants applications for a change of zone, change of zone, just uh, is repetitive there. Okay, so noted. All right, um, could I have a, are there any questions by the board? 
Hearing none, uh, could I have a motion to approve uh, the resolution uh, for job 2004-04AE, 181 Merritt Avenue, Inc. Uh, motion, Ed? Motion. Second, Michael? Second. All in favor? <laughs> Aye. Aye. Aye, anyone opposed? Hearing none, the resolution is approved. Can we go back to page one, work session, recommendation to town board for a change of zone. Item number two, planning board job number 18-45AE, MR Property Builders, LLC. And the resolution is on page two on the resolution for recommendation to the town board for a change of zone. Mm -hmm. okay. Matthew, is there anything you'd like to add? No, I think we covered this last week in our work session. Um, this is on Albany Avenue. It's a change of zone for an MR proposal. Um, since we, we uh, discussed last week, I've spoken with the applicant. Uh, they've contracted with a traffic engineering firm uh, to provide that analysis that the board requested regarding a stop sign. Um, and they will be planning on uh, doing those traffic counts um, in early August. Um, but they have contracted with, uh, with a traffic engineering firm. Uh, do any of the board members have any questions? No. Nope. Good. No? Okay. Um, could I have a motion? Let me see. Uh, who haven't I called on? Uh, uh, let me see. Frank, I, I just did call on you. Let me go back to Jerry. <laughs> Jerry, who have a motion to approve? Motion. Okay. Second. Ed? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Anyone opposed? No. Hearing none, the resolution is approved. And to E, architectural reviews, application number 134748, Chris Sullivan, expansion of an existing house. Matt? Uh, everything is in good order with this application. Uh, this is a rebuild uh, for a fire damage as well as a second story addition. Okay. Uh, okay I have a motion to approve. Julianne? Motion to approve. Um, second, uh, Michael. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Anyone opposed? No. no. Approved. Okay, item, item two. Item two under architectural review, application number 134672, Long Island Partnership Housing Development Funds Company, construction of a new house. Any questions? Matthew? Uh, everything is in good order with this application. It's a uh, construction of a new house. I believe it's just uh, south of Sunrise Highway in Amityville. Okay. Um, Council, I have one quick question. I am on the board of directors of the Long Island Housing Partnership, which is a not-for-profit. Uh, uh, should I abstain? Yes, I think that would be appropriate, Mr. Chairman. Okay. Thank you, I will. All right. Uh, could I have a, a motion by Dan? Motion. A second by Frank. Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Aye, with one abstention. Got it. On to communications. Number one, letter dated May 21st, 2020 from Andrew Rea, town clerk, town of Huntington, to the town of okay. Babylon regarding the scheduling of public hearings. Okay, uh, read and filed. Okay. Item number two is a letter dated June 17th from Arnold Marcus to the Town of Babylon Planning Board regarding planning board job number 19-11AB. The Marcus organization requesting, an, I'm sorry, an extension of time. And number three is the memo from Rachel Shelpo, Commissioner of Planning to Pat Halpin for planning board job number 1911AB, the Marcus organization stating no objection to granting the extension of time. Okay, uh, so we need a motion to grant the extension of time. Matthew, what do you recommend? Uh, that's, that's correct. The, uh, the standard uh, extension is uh, for a six month period and this is okay. their first um, extension of time. Okay, um, motion by Ed. Motion. Um, second by uh, Julianne. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved.
Item four is a memo dated June 23rd, 2020 from Rachel Shelfo, Planning Commissioner to Planning Board members regarding Planning Board job number 19-46B, Marty Holmes, LLC, stating that there are no hospitals located in the town of Babylon. Okay, read and filed. Next. On to minutes, we have the minutes from June 22nd, 2020. Michael. They were perfect. The discussion between um, the participants last week was fully fleshed out. It was accurate and pinpoint accurate throughout all the absences. Everything was great. Okay, motion by Michael. Yes. A second by Julianne. I was um, absent for the meeting. Okay, yes, you were. We missed you. Thank you. <laughs> and so was Jerry. So let me go to the other. Uh, let's say second by Ed. Second. All in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 The minutes Aye. are accepted. Aye. Thank you. And with two abstentions, um, right? Jerry and Julianne, because they were absent. Absences. Okay. Okay, so we're going to go to page four. Public hearing date, December 3rd, 2018. And it is planning board job number 15-03A, Crossroads Shopping Center. Yeah. Um, this is an application um, that includes a 7-Eleven on the northwest corner of Great Neck Road and Albany Avenue. Um, we recently received um, traffic safety comments um, from an outside traffic, and traffic uh, engineering consultant firm. Um, so those just came in and we provide those to the applicant uh, this morning. Um, but we can also share those to the board if we want to kind of review them. Um, as well, um, so we recommend extending the record two weeks to July 13th, 2020 for an opportunity for the board to review. Okay. All right. Um, yes, please share the, uh, that information with the board. Uh, I need a motion to extend the record to July 13th, 2020. Uh, motion by Ed, second. Motion. By Jerry. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. Now we go to page five, public hearing date, August 26, 2019, job number 18-39 AFD, Texas Roadhouse Holdings, LLC. Matthew? Uh, we're still waiting to hear back from the applicant uh, and their attorney regarding providing uh, some type of parking plan or agreement uh, for the shopping center. Um, uh, I've been in touch with them. I think things are just delayed and put on hold on their end with uh, COVID. Um, so I can follow back up with them, but I recommend extending the record until August 17th, 2020. Okay, thank you. Uh, could I have a motion to extend the record to August 17th, 2020? Uh, motion by Dan. Motion. Second by Michael. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. I'll go on to page six, public hearing date, December 9th, 2019, planning board job number 19-24AK, Conklin Street Partners, LLC. Matthew? Um, we're still working out that traffic signal issue here. Um, this driveway uh, would create a fourth intersection to an existing traffic signal on Conklin. Um, mm -hmm. John Saracino, our traffic engineer, was out in the field uh, late last week with um, our traffic signal contractor, uh, and they were taking a look at the plan and they're putting something in writing um, to prepare to the applicant for us to go over with them. Uh, so we recommend extending the record to our next meeting, uh, which is July 13th, 2020. Okay, thank you. All right, motion to extend to July 13th, 2020. <coughs> Excuse me, motion by Frank. Motion. Second by Julianne. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. On to page seven, public hearing date, June 8th, 2020, planning board job number 18-38A, Educational Bus Transportation 8. Matt? Um, so we finally have received um, engineering requirement sheets on this matter, and I believe uh, Mr. Groh and Environmental are uh, in the process of reviewing the SWIP. Um, that's a standard condition of approval is to have SWIP approval. Um, Otherwise, all departmental comments have been satisfied, and uh, if the board uh, is so inclined, we can close the record and bring back 
uh, for work session resolution for the site plan approval at our next meeting of July 13th. Okay. Um, does anybody have any objections to closing the record? Okay. If not, let's have a motion to close the record. Motion by Frank. Motion to close the record. Uh, second by Dan. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Approved. Next, we have planning board hearing date June 15th, 2020. Planning board job number 18 29 AN, Dixon Gas Corp. Uh, this is a gasoline uh, service station on the corner of uh, Dixon and Bayview Avenues in Copeg. Um, I spoke with the planner on this application, Brian. Um, he said that they're still working through some of the revisions that were recently submitted just before their board hearing. Uh, and he recommended extending the record until July 20th, 2020. Okay. Uh, motion to extend the record to July 20th. Uh, motion, Jerry. Motion. Second, Ed. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. Move to page eight, uh, planning board job number 19-46B, Marty Holmes, LLC. Um, so this is the matter that uh, we had a public hearing on last week. It was a subdivision of three lots into two uh, to erect two uh, new single family dwellings. Uh, we've had no additional comments on the matter in the week that we've held the record open, aside from um, the uh, one, one member who spoke at the hearing uh, clarified her statement about there being no hospitals in the town and that matter was on for communication uh, for this evening. Um, I also uh, have with me um, the traffic safety comments um, on this job uh, from Cameron Engineering dated January 28th, 2020. Um, their conclusions and findings summary uh, they state the application will not generate enough traffic to warrant a traffic study. Um, so based off those comments, uh, all other com all departmental comments are uh, satisfied and closed. Um, so if the board is inclined, we could close the record and bring back for a work session uh, resolution um, at our next meeting of July 13th. All right, do any of the board members have any comments? No. no? Okay. Motion by Ed. Motion. Uh, second by Michael. Second. To, cl to close the record. All in favor? Aye. Okay, the record is closed. Um, I have a question. Should I be abstaining since we missed that public meeting? The question, uh, um, council is uh, from Julianne. She wants to know if she should abstain because she was not at the, she was not present during the public hearing. She was, and yeah, at this point, not having uh, had the opportunity to review uh, even the record and ask any questions, I think uh, um, an abstention is appropriate here. Okay, I abstain. Okay, all right. Uh, Jerry uh, was also okay. uh, well. Uh, no, I'll vote. I, vis okay. I visited the site. I know the area. I know the builder. And although I was not able to attend last week's meeting, um, I would support this application. Yeah, and, the, and you did read the minutes. Yeah, is that appropriate, uh, Rich? Yes, it Rich. is. Okay. Okay. All right, fine. So we have uh, four in favor with one abstention being Julianne. I think that's it for our reserve calendar. Yes. Matthew, I have a question. Uh, a general dollar is opening on Albany and Great Neck where the uh, Dollar Tree closed. Did, were you aware of that? Um, I was not, no. Um, if it was just a retail to retail, it probably was a straight building permit application. So it wouldn't have come through the planning department. Right. Okay, I see that they're preparing to uh, uh, to open there, redoing the facade, uh, and I guess they're retrofitting inside. So I, I sure hope so. That's yeah, sad store. It looks nice from what they're doing. I, I sure hope so. So that, that wasn't fair to the residents the way they maintain that store. Yeah. 
So yeah. the general dollar looks like it'll be nice. I hope so. Just a reminder, if everybody could mail in their ROAs, they're coming to uh, Town Hall, the Annex at 281 Phelps Lane in North Babylon. 1170. It's 281 Phelps Lane, North Babylon, 11703. Yeah, Denise, um, that protocol for, for writing them up, we're including everything, including the 15 minutes before the meeting begins? Um, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, yeah. Rich yes. cleared that up last week. Okay. Yes. And we're still including the research, like if you went out this weekend to do yes. you know, some photographing and what have you. Yes. Okay, thank you. All right, um, Denise, I am going to give you the authority to sign my name. Okay. <laughs> I like that authority. Uh, not, uh, not checks, just on the <laughs> record of activities. The, it the is nice specified. Part about the, the nice part about the record of activities, we also have a, uh, a written record of minutes, which captures at least the times we have uh, as a board uh, together. All right, um, hearing no other uh, business, uh, could I have a motion to adjourn, Julianne? Motion to adjourn the meeting at 8 p.m. 8 p.m. All right, uh, second, Jerry? Second. Uh, all in favor? Aye. 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 Aye